Hello everybody, Scott Golden here with the MLW Review for the 15th of Dis, uh, uh, July 2022. MLW continues to be a show worth watching. MLW continues to be one of the better booked wrestling shows on television. Just wish they had a larger audience. Uh, King, This week's King of Collision event uh, opened with a video package hyping tonight's main event. The steps leading to the clash between former Dynasty members Holiday and Hammerstone. Uh, growth of the dynasty and other things. Joe Jambreski and Rich Bikini, one of the better announced teams in wrestling, are here. Brittany Blake defeats Zoe Sky. Commentary team talked up as if this is a contenders match for the Women's Featherweight Championship. Blake uh, makes her return to uh, MLW after returning or debuting last year. Sky uh, is a relative unknown, and she starts the match off coming off the rope with a missile drop kick. And uh, continues for moments, and she's on top for a good bit as well. Blake then comes back and kicks Sky off the apron and hits her with a 619 to the face. Sky is then on the floor. Tornado DDT follows, and Blake puts Sky away with the arm trapped, seated to Texas Cloverleaf. Brittany Blake has always been talented, whether it's as an announcer or as a talent. I hope they do a little more character development, but her being a women's champion here would be a good idea. Um... Could probably have also had a little more time in the match itself. Uh, needless to say, we backstage, EJ Nokia addresses hints of future potential heel turn. He was asked about the main event tonight with a serious face and questioned why he's not in the main event. Getting a shot at the title. Uh, T-shirt partner partnership with Hot Topic is announced here. Uh, Richard Holiday is interviewed about his title challenge tonight. He told Hammerstone uh, they would reminisce about the time in the dynasty, but he wants him to know that all those memories don't mean anything to him. Money, winning, and championships are the only things that matter. That is the way heel is to do healing. Anyway, Matt Cross defeats ACH despite uh, solid uh, talent in the ring. Cross seems to have lost more matches than he wins here. Uh, basically, bunch of high spots, great action if you're into non-psychology or high-flying stuff. Um, they faced each other here. Uh, story seems to be whoever brings out something new in their opponent would have the chance of winning, so it basically becomes a game of can you top this. Cross uses a, a springboard crossbody and double foot stomp. Uh, HCH brings out the slingshot crossbody on the floor, Enziguri and a suplex. Both struggle to get the advantage. End of the match, uh, sees Cross land on his feet, and he gets into German suplex, followed by a springboard cutter, and a fin finishing his opponent off with a top rope shooting star press. Decent match if you like the high spot style. I prefer something a little more story related, but, um... Anyway, so then we hear from Hammerstone, who said Holiday's finally getting the match that he wanted. He talked about ner how nervous Holiday would feel and called himself the consequence for Holiday's actions. Uh, after turning his back on his training partner, Davey Richards, last week, we heard from the newest member of the Bombay Fight Club, Myron Reed. He said he and Richards were no, long no longer the big dog and... Uh, part of the best national open, openweight champion, Alex Kane, there to present him and also basically continuing their feud a bit. MLW world champion Alex Hammerstone defeats Richard Holiday with Alicia Atut. Uh, earlier in the night, we saw a hooded figure enter Holiday's locker room and commentators thought could be a crooked referee given Holiday's history of pieing people off. Action goes to the outside early in the match. Holiday uses a toot to distract Hammerstone and hits him with a side Russian leg sweep. After the commercial break, Hammerstone is throwing Holiday around, but the challenger catches the champion with a spine buster, taking back control, neck breaker, uh, then some garbage stomps and pedigrees follow. Holiday then stomps aggravated Hammerstone's ankle and injury. Uh, champion suffered recently. The champion continued the next portion of the match, hobbling on one foot. Good selling from him. And then he gets on the apron, distracts the referee. Holiday uses one of uh, the shoes uh, from Alicia Atut, and Holiday pins um, 
Hammerstone in a multi-man match from a couple weeks ago with that, but doesn't work here. For referee, shenanigans followed. Referee gets knocked out of the ring, and Hammerstone has a visual pinfall holiday. Caesar Duran comes out and uh, with a masked referee, and the deck is stacked against Hammerstone. Holiday then uses a steel chair as the referee is turned a blind eye to that. Uh, Holiday hits the twisting suplex, but uh, Azteca henchman referee started counting. Frank Gastineau pulls the crooked referee out and knocks him to the floor. Back in the ring, Hammerstone catches Holiday with a chair and starts going nuts. Holiday punches are of no use. Hammerstone then hits clotheslines and knocks the henchman down, slamming, slamming Holiday to the mat. And Hammerstone then picks up Holiday and hits the Nightmare Pendulum, getting the pin and overcoming the odds. Kings of Collision go off the air. We see a vignette uh, with the reincarnation of Maddox Kruger. Um, and then there we go. We will close with that. MLW continues to be an undervalued wrestling product. Worth checking out if you have the time. Uh, we'll be back with more right after this. <laughs> 